An Arizona board member, I'm sorry, start that again. An Arizona voter recently warned the Maricopa County Board of Supervisors that they're into facing the death penalty or having a violent revolution happen if they did not redo the recent midterm election. I came here today to get an up close and personal look at the seven traitors to the United States Constitution. Okay, again, for please. Sitting at that desk, I will not repeat your election crimes. I will just say, not certifying the machines constitutes a form of interference. And in case no one has enlightened you people, Interference in an election in the United States of America, Mr. Gates, is a capital offense. It's considered treason, punishable by the death penalty. I will just say this. The voting booth is supposed to be your time is a up. time for a peaceful revolution. Those who make your, your peaceful revolution impossible make violent revolution necessary. Your, your time is up, and, and again. Mm. Mm. So, basically what we're at is give us the election results that we want, or we will kill you. And of course, we'll make things up. <laughs> uh, wow, uh, very, very uh, healthy, well-mentally balanced people. But look, uh, understand that this is, uh, this is what the MAGA movement set out to do, to threaten people. Th these people are taking things that they don't understand and ascribing a nefarious motive to them when things don't turn out exactly the way that they wanted to. Oh, I lost an election. Therefore, uh, I will now threaten violence. You, Karen? Really? You and what army? No, go sit down. Y you know what? And next time... If you want an election outcome that is favorable to you, why don't you go vote, vote harder? That's it. <laughs> That's the issue, okay? Not everything is a goddamn conspiracy theory, but what disturbs me again is these conspiracy theories lead to violent rhetoric. Maga Karen's not going to go grab a gun, but maybe Maga Ken will, because we've seen it before. And so that's... That's rough. And by the way, where a lot of this comes from is being told day in and day out that if you don't get your way, well, the first it's a conspiracy, and the only way to fight that conspiracy is to grab your guns. To water the tree of liberty with blood. And again, they're not talking about metaphors here. There are people out there that now believe that violence is the only way. And what got them to that point? Well, it's stuff that we talk about all the time. It's not just Donald Trump. Donald Trump's just the latest iteration of this. You have Fox News. You have conservative media. You have people putting themselves in their own violent bubbles. And so they believe in all of this, you know, just horrible rhetoric, more extremist every single day. Now, one of you says uh, the board member's too easy on... Maga Karen. Uh, well, and that's because unlike members of the right, not all, but some of these members of the right wing, the far right, they actually respect freedom of speech. Whereas the right, uh, the far right, as I said before, well, they want to grab their guns and make sure you don't have your free speech and that you don't have your democracy. And that's what they're trying to take away here. Understand that's the end goal is to eliminate our system of government, our representative government, in favor of either a one party rule or, in their case, uh, you know, the case of January 6th, mob rule, and appointing uh, somebody who, you know, is a dictator. Peter Thiel wants to make us a technical, uh, you know, a technocracy or, or, uh, Monarchy. You have, uh, you know, people like Nick Fuentes, recently on Tim Pool's show. It was like, you know what we need to do? We need to get rid of democracy. We need to have a dictator. So that's what these people are saying. That's what they want. 
So understand that, yes, it is funny to laugh at the Karens. Because what's she going to do, right? She's going to say some tough, uh, tough words as she calls the manager. But there are people out there who will do violence, who will act on those words. And that is a scary thought. Not the fact that, oh, it's going to be some big army and we're going to have a gigantic civil war. No, it's going to be stochastic terrorism. Because we've already seen it.